Hi everyone, how's it going? In today's episode, I wanted to do a part two of our Alpine Linux tests uh, that we did in the uh, first episode last week. And basically, I wanted to dive into some uh, file system stuff. Uh, essentially, what I want to do is create uh, a file within the uh, ISH app and then see if I can open that file inside of the iOS uh, file explorer or, you know, quote unquote, the iOS finder, if you want to think of it that way. But uh, basically just having the two operating systems talk to one another and see what, can, what we can get out of it. So uh, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up our uh, files app within iOS or iPadOS. And we'll see if uh, we can just create a folder in there and then uh, essentially uh, create a mount point within Linux and see how far we can get. All right, let's go into... Uh, our locations here and I'm just going to go to uh, on my iPad. I'm not going to put anything on iCloud Drive. I just want to try to see if we can uh, create files and view them within local directories. Okay, so uh, we'll get into iCloud uh, in another time. But for now, let's just try uh, on my iPad. All right, so here's uh, what I have on my iPad. Uh, I'd like to create a new folder and we'll call this uh, well, we'll call it Alpine Files. There we go. Alpine Files. Perfect. All right, so now that we have that created there, what I want to do next is uh, let's launch ISH and try to mount that directory. All right, so we've got uh, iPad here, and let's drop a few lines. All right, so we know, we know it's working. Uh, let's Go ahead and do an ls and see. Do I have caps lock turned on? I did. Oops. ls. Okay, we got nothing here. Uh, so let's go to cd forward slash ls again. Okay, so now we are we are in our root directory here, and I'd like to make a mount point within, um, let's say, my home folder. So let's go into cd. Uh, home and let's go to ls okay so there's an alpine folder in there already what I'd like to do is uh, make a directory in here okay so we're going to do mkdir and we're going to call it uh, alpine files very similar okay I'll make ls again just to make sure that it's actually in there okay and we have that directory in there uh, next, what I'd like to do is actually mount the iPad directory into this Alpine files, basically Alpine directory. A lot of Alpines there, but uh, it'll make sense once we do it here. So first we're going to do is uh, mount, okay, space dash T, iOS. Okay, and then we're going to go, uh, since I did it all caps, I'll do it all caps here too. It's going to be Alpine Files. Forward slash. I got to give it the complete directory there. So we got forward slash home, forward slash Alpine. Oops, lowercase. Let's make those, make sure it's not case sensitive, although I don't think it matters. So forward slash home, forward slash Alpine files. Okay, and now we should get a prompt from iOS saying, hey, do you want to allow this application access to your folder? So let's hit return. Okay, and now it's, uh, so this is the prompt that says choose a location. We're gonna go to on my iPad. We're gonna choose Alpine files and we'll click done. Boom, so now, so now we know we're in that directory. Okay, uh, let's go into Alpine Files again. So we'll go to CD now, which is change directory. I want to actually hop inside of that Alpine Files directory. Okay, we're there. Let's go to LS. And it should be blank. Uh, so there's nothing in that directory. What I'm going to do now is uh, touch a file in there. Um, so touch is basically a way of just creating, uh, creating a document. So I'm going to do touch, space, and we'll call this um, test uh, .txt, so we know it's a text file, and let's hit return. And now if we hit ls one more time, you'll see that text.txt file is in there now. 
Okay, next step is uh, to edit that file. So let's go ahead and do nano since it's just a much simpler text editor for our needs right now. We don't need anything fancy. And we'll do nano test.txt. Okay, so we're in here now. And let's, you know, put something fun in here. Uh, we'll say, hello, this is a test of file system communication alpine to iOS slash iPad OS since the two are technically different. Um, perfect. All right, and then we'll do a control X to save. And uh, we'll say Y for yes, and we'll hit return. Perfect, so now we created that file. With, let's drop a few lines. Now what I'd like to do is go back into iOS and see if that actually worked. So here is my uh, files app. I've got my Alpine files, and we got our test folder in there. Let's open it up, and what do you know? It actually worked. So we know we've successfully created a file within Alpine Linux and mounted a directory, and we were able to have the two talk. Uh, in the next episode, let's see how far we can actually uh, dig into this. Can we maybe play a music file? Can we create a music file? Can we do something with pictures? Um, potentially maybe see if we can communicate with iOS and see uh, with iCloud and see how far, how far we can take it. Anyway, I think this is a uh, pretty cool stuff here. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying that and uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.